Greetings, Night City. Welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I am Cobalt Thorium. We're we're heading over to Victor's Ripper Dock Emporium or whatever the hell it's called. My beater of a car. I ran back to the uh, the old safe house to uh, drop off some stuff. Get a bunch of oranges, orange like legendary, super rare, awesome things. Uh, that I didn't want to sell. I kind of just wanted to cash them because I hear that you can do stuff with them. What's going on here? Who are you? A netrunner from NCPD, huh? Wait, is this the Ripper Duck that we're going to? It's not the Ripper Duck I thought we were going to. Hold on. Get out of the way. I wanted to go to... Victor. Mm. Well, I know how to get there from Misty's, so... And yeah, we'll go there. Wait, is this not Misty? Wait, I'm so... Misty's! There we go. Hi, Misty. Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Hmm. The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about. I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Nope, not buying it, or what do I do with what I find? Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. So I found... Uh, apparently six of them already. One of them was the, the fool, and it was right outside my apartment. <laughs> Wonder what they're trying to tell me about that. So we're gonna talk to uh, Victor here. That's why I'm actually here. Hey, Vic. You took care of Jackie's body. I, I thought you knew. Damn it! Must have been knocked out when I talked about it. What do you mean? Arasaka. They swooped in, dug their claws into him. What? What? Where'd they take him? Not sure. Had me face down to the ground, hands on my head. Tried to learn something, but, well, you know how it is with corpos. Fucking monos. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. How is it even possible seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got Arasaka to thank. 
You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. Hmm. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder? Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, won't even know whose is whose. Hmm. So two options. So I saw a mural on the wall and need to think about replacing my implants. Uh, one of the reasons why I want to come here is because we do have a bunch of implants that we could upgrade. But let's do the mural on the wall first. Listen, don't laugh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk to him about... Can I please talk to you about... What, what what is going on here? I can't talk to you now. What? There we go. Replacing. Was implants. thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. All right. Let's take a look at what we have for options here. So. I need seven intelligence for memory boost. Well, that's not really that interesting. RAM upgrade. Yeah, that's not really that interesting either. I'm not really interested in either of those. Ooh, what is this? Kiroshi Optics 1 enhances your vision. Empty cyberware mod slot. Now I have enhanced your vision and three mod slots. But it costs $5,000. Hmm. We'd have to look at what our mods are. Circulatory system. Huh. Okay, so we have a blood pump. Activate to instantly restore 60% of max health. That's pretty good. With a cooldown of 180 seconds. But it's going to be tied to a button I use, which I do not like. So increase breach time. We don't really need that. Uh, instantly restores 10% stamina when defeating an enemy. That's pretty good. Instantly restores 3% health after you discharge a, we a fully charged weapon. Okay, so this requires technical. It's only 3%. Still, that's pretty good. As long as, our, as, long as we have a the tech pistol, it has to be fully charged, though. I'm not going to remember to do that. Let's install this adrenaline booster. Wait, what did I just take out? Why was this installed? When your health drops to 15% release an electroshock, I don't want that. What if I'm next to a barrel? 
An explosive barrel. Hmm. Well, glad I got rid of that. Looks like we have no immune system options. Nervous system. Slows time. I don't know what Sandavastian is. None of these are all that interesting. Didn't I have a an orange one that was like No. I don't understand why these don't stack. There's three slots. Okay, here's the one. I need 15 reflexes to make it work. Well, this is the Sand of Vestin. I don't really want a time slowdown either. Can I sell some of this stuff? All right, gorilla arms. Mantis blades might be doable. Um... And if we do mantis blades, I'd probably want to get rid of my machete. This doesn't do, do nearly enough damage to replace the machete. Yeah, I think we're not going to do those. We do have the option for a double jump. That's expensive, though. I'm not going to do that. Well, that's disappointing. Um... Oh, I bought that? That wasn't part of my inventory before? Damn. Can I sell stuff to you? How's Biz going? Ah, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance. Think you got Misty here to help? Yeah, right. Know what? You get to a certain... Alright, well, let's get out of here. It looks like on the map there's a... What is this? Good Yakitori Night City Tempura Night City Cheap Udon Night City Tasty Ramen Is there anything to eat in this wasteland? What's this? Goro, you can't find anything because you're sending you. I wish I knew what the rest of this was. Goro, you can't find anything because you're sending your searches to me as messages. I apologize, it's this cursed interface or a virus. I really wish it didn't have these ellipses after. I would like to see what the entire message is. Well, he likes sushi. Um, so, yeah, so he said, is there anything to eat in this tasty ro- uh, in, Is there anything to eat in this wasteland? And I said, Goro, you can't find anything because you're sending me 
said, you're sending searches to me as messages, and he said, I apologize. It is this cursed interface. Or a virus. And I respond, I have a few ideas if you're feeling peckish. If you want sushi, there's a decent place in Wellsprings. For that, you're going to throw down some decent threads, though. Throw on some decent threads, though. He said, sushi in Night City? Sounds like suicide. And somehow disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Takamura, you're uh, you're starting to grow on me. I really didn't like you at first. I didn't like how we met. Now there's apparently a, um, a mural around here somewhere. What was that? Uh, how's things? How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? And it's weird, but... I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. That's it? How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk people in the... But well... Well, I guess I can't explore any other options. I do want to check out that tarot card, uh, that mural, if we can find it. There is a quest over here, too. It's a little interesting. And I tell you, no! The Arasakas are no ordinary clan! They're not even human! Vampires! The lot! Why do you their come bodies, up? Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead. I don't understand why you come exists up. exists only as cover for their wicked means to live. Okay, what is this? Or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my words! That wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. <laughs> its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this <laughs> devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. Well, that's interesting. But what I happens now? I you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Uh, what do I do? I, I mean, that. We've given stuff to this guy before. I feel like there should be something that we can do. How much should I give him before? Humble sounds affordable. Just don't spend it on stupid shit. Thank you. This has bought me a day or two. One dollar? Wow. Okay, so Radio that waves bear the truth. seems like it was not the right answer, but I mean, I'm sure we'll be back. Now I'm going to go look for that mural. So it's up. I think it's, it's in that elevator. So let's go back through Misty's. Turn a blind eye to their existence. They have already won. Misty's esoteric. Radio. 
then the elevator's over here. Right? Let's hop upstairs. Take a peek at this tarot. Tarot. That's a slow elevator. Later. Oh, here it is. Whoa. The world resembles a major arcana tarot card. The world. Okay, cool. It's one more down. One less icon on our map of stuff to go and take a peek at. There's a lot of uh, little odds and ends of loot in here. Get a whole bunch more lore again. Probably should do a lore episode pretty soon. Maybe I'll even do that next. Yeah, we'll do that next. And I think that we're pretty much getting to the end of this episode, so we figured out more about our tarot stuff. We did some shopping on, uh, uh, for, you know, new bionic enhancements, or whatever you call them, implants. So, that's all good. Now I'm stuck behind this. Uh, at least I can get out. Anyway, uh, I think that'll wrap up this episode, so thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like and maybe subscribe, and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.